Good morning, everybody. Today's mission is a big one, to get into the big city of Salt Lake City. Anyways, I'm, uh, I'm all set up here at my camp spot at this KOA. It's uh, $54 a night for full hookups with tax. It comes to, I think it was like $126 for two nights here. But Jack's hanging out. But hey, full, full hookups, you know. So 30 amp, unlimited water. I've got the gray tank wide open. And then I'll just uh, pull the valve on the black tank uh, before I go. I already got the bike ready to go here. I've got the awning out because uh, some possible sprinkling rain, possibly, but I'm going to wear my coat on the bike to explore. Uh, yeah, this is my first ever KOA campground. They are incredibly expensive, but they are very accommodating. I want to show you around real quick tour of this place before we get on the bike. I mean, some of the people that pay into the KOA membership and stuff, they live like kings out here, but I mean, the cost is the thing I you know I only want to do this once a week so I may go all out once a week uh, other than that I don't want to be crammed in like that for no reason uh, they give you a little key code uh, for the gates so you can come down here behind the campground and look at the Jordan River right here in Salt Lake City that's pretty cool pretty nice nice they got a really nice game room and a laundry facility, like state-of-the-art laundry facilities. I've never seen anything like it. I don't need any of that. <laughs> and I don't mean to, I'm not mocking anybody that gets into this. I mean, this is, this is what fuels RV life these days, are these big, huge resorts. And, you know, as long as they can pack you in as tightly as possible and get as much money from you and then offer all of this extra stuff, I mean, that's... That's what's putting people behind the wheel of an RV. I understand that, but we all have a different idea of what is fun and enjoyable in an RV. And this is just a legal spot for me to park, basically. <laughs> so that's it. I, I don't really care about anything else. I would be perfectly happy just parking in a, in a parking lot instead, but that's not legal here in Salt Lake City. So hop on the bike, go have some fun today. Hey, definitely a lot less snow here in Salt Lake City than when I was here three months ago. A lot less snow, so that's a good thing. But it hasn't warmed up yet quite. I'm gonna be hanging out here in uh, central downtown Salt Lake City for the most part today, looking around for quirky stuff. And uh, we found it. This is the Gilgal Gardens here downtown. Oh that my words were now written, oh, that they were printed in a book. Job 19. Definitely a uh, strange little garden. Not everything has a title, but I think this is some kind of a religious park garden. And walk under this little rock archway here. Yeah, I'm definitely leaning towards a, a religious park of some sort. Huh. All right, who's this guy? Actually, that kind of looks like Christopher Walken, doesn't it? A little bit. They printed something in the tile, but that's, I can't read it. I don't know. Yep, more uh, Bible verses. So, Utah, I think, is, is more well known for uh, Mormons as far as religion, I think. I believe, yes, Utah. Big Mormon state. Not everybody who lives here is a Mormon, but, you know. And just random feet and arms and heads. Okay, cool. We are gonna go ahead and keep Utah quirky while we're here. Yeah, I think so. They are doing construct some construction here by the park. And today I got a good setup. I got my mobile uh, vlogging going on with the TW200. No backpack today. Everything I have fits in the tank bag. This entire vlog is gonna be filmed on my GoPro. So. We'll make it work. Uh, we'll get back on the bike and go look at some more downtown. Starting to uh, sprinkle and rain a little bit. Check out this place. It's a, it's a, a haunted house. 
They've got some spectacular artwork. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I'll bet this is a pretty, pretty cool place in October. I mean, that's a huge mural. I'm trying to stand back as far as I can. That's amazing. Wow. Uh, one other thing about the bike is, like in the RV, you see something cool like this, there's nowhere you can go. In the bike, I can just park it on the sidewalk for 60 seconds real quick and basically not get in trouble. <laughs> to give you an idea, that is Lincoln Highway right there. And we've got some interesting artwork across the street. I do remember last time I was here coming off of Lincoln Highway, I do remember seeing this pyramid structure. Uh, it's, you can't really miss it if you're in the right lane right there. What is it? Let's find out. The gate says Summum. Summum? Oh, uh, okay. So, remember how I said Mormon is not the only religion in Utah? Apparently, this is home of the religion mummification. That's right. Uh, this is one of their headquarters where they have services. I don't know anything about mummification except from like mummy movies and stuff like that, but apparently it's big enough to have an entire religion about mummies. And so this 26 foot tall metal pyramid structure is uh, the welcoming point for the mummy religion. Some of them. That's new to me. I heard of Mormons. I've never heard of the mummy religion. Okay. Now I was looking for a, a good place to eat here in Salt Lake City while on the bike. And I really appreciate the effort of this restaurant because quirky works a lot of the time. If you put a ginormous sculpted iguana outside your restaurant, I mean, it really improves the chances that people are gonna wanna come in and eat. Besides, I've never tried iguana. I don't even know what it tastes like. So <laughs> let me go secure up the bike and then I'll grab some lunch. So we'll lock the steering and I will put my caliper lock on the front uh, wheel there unstrap the tank bag, take that in with me as well as the helmet. We'll go have lunch. Oh my goodness, look at those burritos. Ooh. May need to find that RV throne after all when I get back. That was scrumptious. And the sunshine is starting to peek through with some little uh, clouds here and there. So, should be a nice day. It's uh, eating alone doesn't bother me. Um, being alone doesn't bother me. So when people look at that and they're like, how can you go to a restaurant by yourself? Or like the other day, I uh, had a Walmart receipt lady, you know, that checks the receipt with the highlighter to make sure you paid for everything. She said, she said, well, you, I don't even know how we got onto this, but she asked me where my girlfriend was and then we started talking and then she said, so where's your wife? I'm like, you, we already covered this. And then, and then she goes in and she's like, well, why would you travel alone? I, why, why would you get married? Why would you buy a house and a car and do all this? Maybe I'm not the abnormal. Maybe you're the unnormal one. I don't know. I'm here at the convention center. It says paid parking. I can't find any signs anywhere that tell me anything about how to pay for the... Speaking of signs, what the... Literally more signs here than I've ever seen. Nothing about parking. What the heck? Okay, these are really random. Tomato or tomato, oil and water, step or stop. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go try to find some free parking and go over to the uh, Capitol building. No signs about parking, just randomness. Very, very cool, Utah. Thank you for keeping it quirky. All right, everybody, mark off another United States State Capitol here in Utah and Salt Lake City. There's the Capitol building, and this, I assure you, is definitely a first. Look how close I am parking to the Capitol. Free parking at the State Capitol. Yeah. Uh, no limitations, there's no hours. I think you could even park an RV right here in front of the Capitol and they wouldn't care. No, <laughs> there is actually a city ordinance banning overnight RVs in, in the city. Uh, 
take my tank bag in with me, but I'm not gonna take the helmet in. I usually do take it with me, but if I don't know how much walking there is involved, so I'm utilizing the uh, lock on my bike to lock the helmet to the bike. It's not gonna go anywhere. Yeah, let's go uh, check out the Capitol. I know, I know. You've seen one Capitol building, you've seen them all, but I'm happy the sun's making a short little appearance here. That's cool. I feel like I'm rocky going up these steps. No, that's in Pennsylvania. That's possibly still to come on Lincoln Highway. <laughs> Holy cow. They got a lot of marble in the state capitol. Wow. There's something cool up on the fourth floor we're gonna go check out. I ain't got no time to walk, so I'll take this fancy elevator. Oh yeah. And she's coming down. Wow. Okay, not as fancy as I was hoping for, but looks cool from the outside. Some of these Capitol buildings, I don't know how much it costs to, to build these Capitol buildings, but the amount of marble that's inside and everything is remarkable. That's insane. All right, here we are on the top floor. They're doing a wedding down there today, actually. All right, if you're into that sort of thing. How about this? Mr. Philo Farnsworth, the inventor of television. That's right. Now I know YouTube is kind of taken over over the air free television, but this is a historic man right here, the inventor of television. In 1927 in San Francisco, California, after having invented and developed numerous varieties of vacuum tubes, such as the image dissector, which the statue is holding, he was able to transmit and receive a recognizable image. In 1934, after demonstrating that his ideas of electronic image transmission were the first to be written down, he was issued patents regarding television methods that are still used in every television receiving set. All right, that'll uh, do it for my Utah exploring for the day. Look at these mountains off in the distance though. That's cool. I do want to get back to the RV while I have the chance for full hookups to take care of a few things, clean up a few things, and spend some time outside with Jax and relax too. So. Salt Lake City's been nice. The home of Dr. Eric Smith, who fixed my smile for YouTube. Thank you so much, Eric. I really appreciate your help here in Salt Lake City. Give me my smile back, bud. Yep. All right. I can see the bike's still there. It's good. Hey, buddy. You, you know, you got something on your nose? Yeah, yeah. Is that food leftovers? Uh, okay. Thanks for not chewing that cord. That'd have been bad. Yeah. Jeez, it's 72 degrees. <laughs> That's pretty warm. <laughs> this was like a week ago. It was five degrees at night. This is, what a crazy change. I tell you, by the time I get to the East Coast, it'll hit triple digits. And then we'll get back there averaging out 70 for a high for the year. But right now, we're just all over the board. It's crazy. Uh, my back is soaking wet with sweat. That jacket was killing me at the red lights. And I got the air conditioner on inside. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. This is awesome. Um, I, I'm catching up on the Mariners right now. Don't know if I've mentioned that in previous years, but um, I subscribe to follow one team on MLB. And so I get to watch all of the games live when I'm out of market, which is basically not right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, for some reason, Salt Lake City, I'm still in the Seattle Mariners market, even though I've already passed the, the Giants and, and, and Oakland and everything. I don't know. Um, but the same thing happened, what, two years ago when I was going across, and I, I remember I was in Bismarck, North Dakota, but I was still in the Seattle Mariners market, three, four states away. I mean, I was like, how far do I got to go? Uh, it's no biggie. Uh, currently, right now, I'm just watching on a one-day delay all of the games. And I don't even sit there and watch it, guys. I just, I have it going, and I multitask. Um, sometimes I'll just mute it and edit video or something, but it's fun to follow the Mariners. They, they, look, they look good this year. They, they finally look good. By the way, the quality is just fine for me on this TV. Uh, this is a 720p uh, TV. It's not even 1080p. I think it works really well for this. 
I'm actually running it through my PS4. So that's how I control and watch the game. I can also stream from my smartphone, but I've noticed that the quality is, is much worse on the smartphone, so this works. Anyways, um, this will be my last night in Salt Lake City. As a matter of fact, this is my last time in a big city until, like, Laramie or Cheyenne, Wyoming. And it is pretty much a dead zone from here on out, so going to be an interesting journey through a lot of dead zones and a lot of Lincoln Highway history from here. So anyways guys, have a great night Jackson. I'll see you on the road from the Lincoln Highway in two days. Bye guys.